Hi there, we're here with Baron Whitfield, blues vocalist. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good, thank you. How are you enjoying Dubai so far? Oh, I'm having a great time. Uh, this is my first time here and uh, it's just a beautiful city, it really is. You've won seven um, Boston Music Awards so far. Is there anything else you feel like you want to achieve? I think I'm achieve achieving in life just visiting beautiful places like this and playing music for wonderful people that love music. So, you know, each day I go to a new town or a new city, that's an achievement for me. I'm sure you've been to a lot of different festivals all around the world. What do you think makes this festival, the Dubai Jazz Festival, stand out or, or unique? From what I can see, a, a lot of uh, great musicians and uh, appreciative audiences here that come every night to come see wonderful music from all over. And then you got Deep Purple. <laughs> But I, th I think just the, uh, the different styles of music that you have at this festival makes it wonderful. And plus, Dubai itself. Um, are you going to watch Deep Purple? Uh, no, I'm gonna, unfortunately, I'll have to be flying back home, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss Smoke on the Water and all those great hits. I read about you and, and saw that you were touring with Tina Turner for a while. How was that experience? It was a wonderful experience. Uh, it was uh, wonderful to do some shows. This was in Scandinavia with her, and uh, I've also done some uh, touring with uh, George Thorogood and uh, a band called Los Lobos and uh, just uh, some, some great artists in the United States. So it's been, a, it's been great to, uh, you know, play with other great musicians as well, so. If you could collaborate with anyone else, you know, even outside of your genre, who would it be? That is a hard question. I, I probably would have to say uh, someone that's a big fan of my music, and that would be uh, Robert Plant. And uh, I was wondering, you know, you've been in the business for a while now. Social media is so present. Everyone has a Twitter account or Instagram. And you feel really close to your you know, celebrities and stars you admire. Do you have one as well? I do have a Twitter account, uh, Facebook and all that stuff. Well, you know, like you say, this is the uh, age of s social uh, media. And uh, you really want to get close to as many people as you possibly can. People that may not know your music will go to your websites or you can Twitter along with them and find out what their, their likes and dislikes. So it's, it's really grown. I mean, it's fantastic what um, you know, technology has done in the past 10 years. What advice would you give an artist who is up and coming and just starting out actually in the music industry? Have fun, be yourself, never let yourself get down because as long as you do what you love, you'll be appreciated. And I have one final request. Since you are a blues vocalist, <laughs> do you mind sharing a few tunes with us to get warmed up for your performance later on? Woo! 